Welcome back fuckers. Alright, today we're going to go through how to put static objects on your carrier deck just to make them look a little bit nice, especially if you're using the uh, the Stennis, the uh, the base version aircraft carrier where you don't even have the, uh, the deck crew to launch you and stuff. If you just spawn in a Stennis, which we'll do right now, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll just go through how to make it look a little nicer. So um, for the carrier there, there we go, CVN 74 John C. Stennis, so that is the original aircraft carrier. So if you don't have the super carrier module, this is the one you want to put in your missions. Otherwise you won't be able to spawn on them and you won't be able to land on them. You won't be able to take a wire. Okay, they've put that in. So we're just going to call this, that doesn't matter because we're going to delete it anyway, but we'll throw it in there. Okay, we'll give it a, uh, a waypoint. Oh, 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 get rid of that. Um, just make it cruising that way. Okay, so let's uh, quickly just load up the mission. And I'll show you what it looks like. So let's go to spectators. So to get to the ships, you go F9. So here we go. We've got the uh, the super carrier deck. So we've got two. That's our two uh, late start uh, aircraft we just put in in the uh, video before. So in 15 seconds, that uh, the tanker will start up, and the AWACS will not start because I didn't put a uh, trigger in for that one. But you can see the deck is pretty much has got the deck crew running around. Okay, the guys on the uh, the deck. There's a couple of couple of people standing around but that's pretty much it and then if we have a look at the stennis all right this is the default stennis it has got nothing on the deck okay absolutely nothing on the deck so uh we're going to go through how to make it look a little bit nicer and uh look like an actual aircraft carrier all right so we'll do it on the stennis okay but you can do this it's the same exact procedure for the uh, super carrier uh, as well. So you're going to come down here to add or modify a static object. Okay, the thing that looks like a little bridge. Click on that. And now we're going to go to static uh, airfield and deck equipment. Okay, category airfield and deck equipment. And we've got all these different types of things. We can put a crane in. So we're going to put a crane. Okay, you don't have to worry about naming these things. Doesn't matter. So we're going to put the crane right there. Okay, direction, make it. Uh, where we want it to be. So as a general rule, you don't want to put stuff inside of the uh, the red and white lines, okay? Because uh, aircraft will taxi, and you also on the Stennis, don't put stuff on the elevators, okay? On the uh, the elevators on both the super carrier and the, uh, the super carrier module and the Stennis default one, because players will spawn on those spots, okay? So don't put static objects on there, otherwise you'll uh, spawn in on top of it and explode. So stay away from the red and yellow areas. Don't put static objects in there. And also don't put objects overlapping the red and white lines because you'll uh, be obstructing the landing way and you'll also be obstructing the, uh, the catapults. Okay, so there's markings there to kind of stay away. So we're just going to sweeten the deal here on this guy. All right, we'll just move him so he's not kind of uh, overhanging there. All right, so we've got him in. So now, that's it. That's all we're going to do, right? We put him on the deck. So let's have a look what happens uh, when we spawn in and have a look at the ship, right, without doing anything else. So we'll get the mission up and see us in a sec. All right, so we're going to get this real quick. Spectators, where did it go? Object is it's still there. There is our uh, our object, all right. But she is under the sea. Let me actually look at it. No, all right. It didn't stick to the deck. It fell off. So let's go back into the mission editor, and we're gonna do something else here. So we're gonna again. You're gonna come over here, click on the unit, the static object you want, and we need to link the unit to the uh, the ship that we want to put on. So we're going to link to, and remember, the uh, we didn't name it, so again, whatever you call the carrier, right? Naval 1, we didn't name it for this one because it's just a demo, but whatever you call this, okay, you're going to make sure that you link it to this name. So Naval-1, that's the uh, unit we want to link to. Naval-1, bam, all right? And now, let's quickly uh, load the mission back up again. There is our lovely deck crane okay and you can do that for everything okay any 
unit, any static object, you can spawn it and link it to the ship and it will not fall off. So if you want to put stuff on to make your ship give it a bit more character, you can uh, do that by using the static object placement and then link the unit to the ship. And then that way it'll, uh, it'll be stuck there. But just stick to the general rules. Don't go into the uh, the red and white. Don't go over the red and white lines, and don't put shit in the uh, red and yellow lines where the aircraft will spawn. Otherwise, you'll spawn in on top of them and explode. Uh, and that is it, guys. That's how you do a static unit placement to make your aircraft carriers look more populated. You do it with airfields. You don't have to do link unit on an airfield because the ground doesn't move. Okay, you only have to link a unit to a a uh, ship because it is moving. It's a moving object. All right. So keep that in mind. If you want to put stuff on a ship, hit the link unit and uh, assign it to the correct ship. Okay, so if we assign it to CVN73, that's the wrong one. We'd be actually linking it to the other carrier, which we don't want to do. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure it goes to here. So you can do that for all this stuff. You've got, um, what else we've got? Airfield and deck equipment. You also got personnel. You can put, uh, you know, you can put some LSOs in, put little dudes walking around. Okay, so if we uh, let's quickly do that, naval unit, we we'll just put one guy down. All right, just to show that it does actually uh, change his shirt. We'll make him a red shirt, all right, just for fun. All right, linked to naval one one. Let's go and have a look, and we'll actually be able to put in. You can put people down as well. So you can make the normal carrier look like the super carrier by having personnel. They'll just kind of stand there. They'll kind of move around a little bit. So there is, there's the guy. So he'll actually move. He'll kind of look around and stuff like that, but he won't actually run around the deck. He'll just stay there as a static object. But if you want to put people so it looks like there's, uh, see he's kind of looking at his feet there. He's got little animations he does, but he won't move around like the, uh, the super carrier guys. You see them running to the uh, the cats to launch, cat crew launch crews. So yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. Sweet. All right, so if you did like the video, make sure uh, you hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, because it helps me out a bunch, we cracked the 300, 300 followers. Fuck me sideways. Who'd have thought, eh? Uh, so yeah, thanks guys. Thank you, appreciate you guys. Uh, sharing the love and subscribing liking the videos putting comments in it's good to see that it's helping that's why we do this shit for uh, and lastly but not least i do stream on twitch monday to friday at australian western standard time 1300 hours or 1 p.m for the uh, non-military minded folk and yeah come on in say good day and uh come hang out right guys catch us on the next one